Because uh, I know you're going to say LA is the biggest winner. I know you're going to say that. But who are the biggest winners and biggest losers to you? To me, I mean, I'm happy that my team made some moves. You yeah. know, Rob Lincoln has been busy. I'm just not sold that the moves he made is really going to be what's going to be needed to be a real contender beating teams like Denver in the best of seven, you know, series and shit like that. Like LeBron has to win now. Like, you know, it's not just enough to have a decent team around him. He really needs to have some proven guys to help him in this last run. So I'm happy that moves are made, but I'm not sold. I'm looking like Phoenix with the addition of Bradley Beal. Um, you know, and getting rid of uh, Chris Paul for what it's worth. I feel like Phoenix is the biggest winner, bro, because they got so much firepower. You just got to figure out who's going to kind of conduct that train. But I'm looking at Phoenix as being the, the biggest loser. I mean, the biggest winner uh, so far in free agency, because I think they really, when you look at every all the moves that was made, you could kind of maybe make them favorites. Yeah, in the you West. could. Definitely. Definitely. Um, losers, bro. The biggest loser to me, like I said, Philly, just because everything is undecided with uh, James Harden. And um, Chris Paul. I think Chris Paul was probably the biggest free agency loser, bro. Because I just, he's not going to be able to, he don't run up and down and side to side like Clay and Steph do. Like, yo, so he's never going to be relevant or impact the starting and you know he'd be a good backup but but who knows if chris wants to back up steph like I, I just don't understand him going to golden state draymond said he didn't like chris paul like so i really don't get the move but yeah that's, yes bro yeah um speaking about us the reason why another reason going on what you were saying about your lakers the lakers right it's not like they got blew out the water versus the they got swept, but it's not like they got blew out the water each game. The the what what the Lakers issue to me was depth. Mm. And I feel like the 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 acquisitions that they got this year brought brings them a lot of extra pieces that they were lacking in that Denver series, just in case they have to meet them again. I think right. it was depth. And they got depth to me now. I can't wait to see what else get made, man. There's a lot of things happening right now. So this free agency period is definitely beginning to be busy. So yeah. we'll figure that out.